Hi JPNs! Welcome to the JPA DLSL official YouTube channel. Today, we will be having an accounting tutorial about financial accounting and reporting. We are going to tackle about the basic concepts and theories that you will encounter later on in this course. Rules of Debit and Credit Let me first ask a question. What is the use of debit and credit? What is this for? This is to determine the normal balance of an account and where it increases or decreases. Take a look on the slide. As you can see, DR is short for debit while CR is short for credit. Let's go to debit first. Debit came from the Latin word debere, which means to owe. It is located on the left side of the T account, and it increases assets and decreases liabilities and owner's equity. Next is the credit. Credit came from the Latin word credere, which means to entrust. It is located on the right side of the T account. Conversely, it increases liabilities and owner's equity and decreases assets. For additional information, accounting is based on a double entry system, which means that the dual effects of a business transaction is recorded. A debit side entry must have a corresponding credit side entry. The total debits for a transaction must always equal the total credits. Again, debit increases the asset and credit increases liabilities and owner's equity. This is the accounting equation. Asset is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. You can observe that the asset is on the left side and the liabilities and equity are on the right side. The accounting equation is the most basic tool of accounting. Remember, that the assets must always equal the liabilities and owner's equity. The table has four columns, the account, its normal balance, and its increase and decrease. Notice that the normal balance of an account refers to the side of the account where increases are recorded. Simply put, Ang normal balance ng isang account ay kung saan siya nag-i-increase. Kaya, same lang na debit or credit ang makikita ninyo sa second and third column. And obviously, the decrease of an account is the opposite of its normal balance, which is also its increase. Tip 101. Do not memorize this table. Dapat madigest ninyo ito ng mabuti at mailagay sa sistema ninyo kasi malilito lang kayo kung aasa kayo sa ganitong table. Contra accounts. This type of accounts are the opposite balances of the normal balance of related accounts. It reduces the value of the related accounts. For you to understand this clearly, here is an example. Drawings or withdrawals is a contra-equity account. Why? Because this account is included in the owner's equity and the owner's equity's normal balance is credit. So, the drawings which has the debit normal balance contradicts the normal balance of its related account. In effect, it reduces the value of the owner's equity. Journalizing So at this point, you will learn how to journalize a business transaction. This is actually the second step in the accounting cycle since the first step is the identification of events to be recorded in the journal. A company has a general journal wherein transactions are initially recorded 
before transferring to its specific account. The general journal contains the following. Number 1 is the transaction date. 2. Accounts affected by the transaction. 3. Amounts to be debited and credited. And 4. Brief explanation of the transaction or short narration. The general journal or journal is called the book of original entry and it is the simplest type of journal. Journalizing takes a huge role in the accounting process. The following are the significant contribution to recording process. First, it discloses the complete effect of a transaction. Second, it provides a chronological record of transactions. Third, it helps to prevent or locate errors since the debit and credit amounts for each entry can be easily compared. The debit account title is entered at the left margin of transaction column. The credit account is indented on the next line. Another thing, debit and credit account titles must not be interchanged. You cannot write the credit account title on the first row, then the debit comes next. It is always the debit account title first, to be written in the first row of the general journal. The same goes with its corresponding amount. This will also apply to the preceding transactions. A space is left between journal entries to separate transactions and make journal easier to read. Since the journal contains all the original entries, this is your basis of inputs to the following steps, so it is better when it's neat and easy to read. The reference number column is left blank at the time the journal entry is made. It is used when the journal entries are transferred to the ledger accounts. The third step in the accounting cycle is posting to the ledger. And that is the only time that you can write under this column. If an entry only involves two accounts, one debit and one credit, it is considered a simple entry. Only two accounts are affected here. Meanwhile, if an entry involves or requires three or more accounts, it is considered a compound entry. Moreover, it always depends on the transaction. There could be only one debit account and two credit accounts, or two debits, one credit, or could be two debits, two credits. It really depends on the transaction. Note. All debit accounts must be listed before the credit account. So this is what I said earlier that the debit account always comes first. Third step in the accounting cycle, posting to general ledger. A general ledger contains all the assets liabilities, and owner's equity accounts. General Ledger is the reference book of the accounting system and is used to classify and summarize transactions and to prepare data for basic financial statements. So here are some of the account titles under assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. In assets, we have equipment, supplies, accounts receivable, and cash. In liabilities, we have accounts payable, notes payable, and salaries payable. And lastly, in owner's equity, we have service revenue, salaries expense, withdrawals, and capital. 
These are only the few examples of various account titles that you will encounter later on. These accounts are also classified into two general groups. First, the balance sheet or real accounts. This is composed of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. And the second one is the income statement or nominal accounts. And this is composed of income and expenses. So this is how you transfer the data from journal to ledger and vice versa. First, transfer the page number from the journal to the journal reference column of the ledger. Next, post the debit figure from the journal as a debit figure in the ledger. Same thing when the account is a credit account title. The credit figure from the journal will be posted as a credit figure in the ledger. Third, enter the account number in the posting reference column of the journal once the figure has been posted to the ledger. And that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something today and this tutorial will help you study financial accounting and reporting. For more updates, follow us on our social media accounts. Instagram at LayagJPIA Twitter at Layag JPIA and Facebook slash JPIA de la Salipa. Best of luck, JPNs! Thank you for watching!